Okay, I'm back. And so what I ended up doing was going back to the original and it's gonna be in here for reference. I'm not gonna attach it right here or show you it because I'm not that clever, but eventually I'm sure I'll get there. Um, as I do this more often, but in the meantime, what I did was I went and I looked back at it and here is the, the dot. And in the particular video that I shot previous, that's where I had it lined up, um, right about there. So. So now I'm coming in and, and I'm looking at it and this way. And I'm just gonna, let's see, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna come in, I got green because I ran out of that. I put very, I'm really prudent with my paint and um, I put just enough on my plate and I've already ran out of the orange. And what I've done previously was of course these orange, orange things trying to get back the actual lines you would see in a spiral right okay um and they're gaseous so this works out perfectly because uh these are also also um oh heck i don't remember what i was gonna say so anyway um you'll find that from time to time with me and um it's been really hard but um um This is my life and I'm trying to make the best of it. So, and I love my life. So hopefully I don't do a disservice or I figure out how to edit these things. But right now I'm going to find my spot. Here's my darkest spot right here. And then the greens were right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit those greens right here. Anyway, okay, so I went to answer his phone, so I stopped, stopped, messed up the thing, so, but anyway, here we go. So I'm going to go in with the green, and basically one thing I know about the green is that it starts here, and it goes basically a little darker in here, and it gets smaller as it goes up, but it's next to, you guessed it, the orange. And that's pretty much what the colors are going to be in this thing. This beautiful, and I'm calling them orange, which is really, you know, not very professional of me. I should have some, you know, like vibrant sherbet or something, maybe. That's, it. that's what we'll call it. We'll call it a vibrant sherbet. Um, and I'm coming in with my vibrant sherbet that also will glow in the dark. And this isn't my super stuff. This is the cheap stuff. It doesn't have that much pigment in it. But that's okay, because as some people know, I like to paint very thin in my paint. And um, so, there we go. Come over here. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yeah, she healed all the way. She didn't even try to pull. Isn't that great? Yes. She's like she loves to to uh, walk. Maybe she knows if she's she's good, we won't uh, we'll we'll walk her. Who knows? Good Stranger job, things have happened, huh? Yeah. Okay, so here's my spiral. Yeah. Trying to find it back again. Kind of lost it. It lost its way, Kenny. Oh. This is what I wanted to show you. See, this is this is why. You know, the whole thing about painting thin. Right. They've been painting thin since pigment was invented, you yeah. know, because sometimes that's all you can get, and you just have to keep going over and over and over it. You know, pigment came from, derived from uh, natural things, and yeah. most artists had to go out and harvest their own colors, their own natural fibers and, and stuff to make colors. Mm. I want, you know what I want to do? Mm. I want to call those people that we met that um, are growing the hemp up in Ovid and talk to them about uh, uh, if they'd let me experiment with some other fiber. Yeah, um, they probably would. Okay. All I right. don't see that would be a problem. 